So I get this question a lot, and that is whether or not auto clickers truly are more advantageous than, say, a regular clicking speed. Auto clicker, jitter clicker, drag clicker, butterfly clicker. There's all kinds of ways of clicking. Is it fair? Is it unfair? I also keep hearing mixed feedback of whether or not it truly helps. Some people say it actually has a disadvantage, and I've been testing it a little bit, and I will tell you there is some information here that I can give you of whether or not this is more powerful with or without an auto clicker. So before I begin, if you could do me a solid and hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. So first up, let's talk about the different types of clicking methods because before you can really understand what method is the best, you need to know what methods are out there. So there's the obvious typical format of clicking. So you're going to click like this, right? And you might get anywhere between five you know, clicks per second if you're really slow, by the way, that's really slow. Or you're going to get maybe up to 10 clicks per second if you're really fast. So that is the typical placement of finger, one finger on the left mouse button, click, 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 right? Pretty simple. Then there's another method of drag clicking and drag clicking is a technique that really requires requires a little bit of tuning of the mouse. And what you're doing is you're adding friction to your left mouse button to create a double click. You might also have to adjust your double click speed, but this gives you a crazy, crazy fast click speed that is really, really fast. Like this is, you can get up to like 25 clicks per second very easily with drag clicking. But the thing is with drag clicking, it requires a technique. It's a little bit harder to pull off until you really know how to do it very well. The other thing that'll happen is over time, your mouse will die. <laughs> you are going to damage your mouse using drag clicking, but it is pretty fast, but so we're not gonna really go into that because I don't have have a way of doing that. I'm not going to ruin my mouse just to show you, but I will tell you, you know, if you get a little bit of masking tape or something, or if you have the ability to do something kind of like um, surfboard, they have like surfboard texture stuff. There's different ways that you can add texture to your mouse to create that vibration, to add that double click. And then of course there's jitter clicking. Jitter clicking is a way of basically clicking really, really fast, but you have to like tense up your finger trying to kill your mouse like as fast as you can basically. And it is a really, really fast way of clicking. You could also do it just like by holding the mouse really tightly. But the problem with that is instead of damaging your mouse over time, you're going to damage your hand over time. So you don't really want to be jitter clicking because over time you're going to really be paying for that potentially with arthritis or carpal tunnel or some other weird thing because your body's just not built to do that. The next one that is really, really fast is butterfly clicking. And that is when you use two fingers on the left mouse button and click and alternate your clicking really, really fast. It's a really, really great method. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a faster edge. And then there's of course um, auto clicking. So here's an auto clicker example. I'm just using an auto clicker right now. And you can tell if someone's using an auto clicker because you're just going to see them doing this. You're just going to see them like this at their base the entire time. Um, and then lastly, there's scroll clicking. Scroll clicking is insanely fast. And I will tell you, scroll clicking is probably the king. I will show you that. I tested it out. It is insane. I haven't tested it inside Bed Wars yet. I'm curious what kind of results we're going to get. But we're going to test it out in a little bit. But first, I want to show you the different speeds before we start testing this out. So we're going to head over to this game called Test Your CPS Clicks Per Second. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this here. And we're just going to start clicking our normal speed. So this is warm up. So you can start clicking really fast. And and we're gonna get about eight. Eight's about like my natural speed. You can see it's floating between seven and eight. I can go a little faster. It looks like my highest CPS on that was nine. So I'm honestly about eight. Eight is my CPS, my natural CPS, even though I could reach nine and I could probably even reach 10. Once you start clicking a little faster than that, you're starting to get into jitter clicking at that point. Like that's not a normal click rate. So now we're gonna try um, jitter clicking. This is when you tense up your hand and you go really fast. So I'm gonna show you jitter clicking. And you'll notice something like I'm getting nine. I'm getting nine a lot and jitter clicking after a while it really hurts your hand um you can see my highest was nine on that one it really hurts your muscles in your hand and, and over time you can make that better like your muscles get used to it kind of like any kind of instruments if you play like guitar if you play drums or anything like that you're after a while your hands are going to get used to it but it's also going to really mess them up that is jitter clicking you can see it's already higher my average was higher now let's go and do butterfly clicking this one's pretty good so i'm going to show you butterfly clicking it is louder so butterfly clicking i got 15 cps on that let's do it again let's try to keep it in the same spot this time it's really hard to do so you lose a lot of accuracy with butterfly clicking if it was like all over if it was the entire screen it would be a little different but if you're trying to get the accuracy butterfly clicking requires a little bit of like uh practice and i don't really have it yeah you can get a lot higher cps for sure it's a lot louder too you can hear it so we got up to this, our recent highest was 14 cps so it's pretty good we also got 15 on that so i would say butterfly clicking is probably the, the best way or approach to naturally click without using any auto clickers or any kind of weird techniques including drag clicking now a drag clicking like i said you you could probably get about 25 CPS with that. It does require a specific technique. So now we're going to do auto clicking. So this is going to be an auto click format. And um, I'm going to show you this. So this is going to get us about 30 something. Yeah. So this is auto clicking. You can see we're getting about 38, 37. It really requires very little effort. The only um, effort that requires is being able to toggle on and off. Because if you start using it when you don't want it, it's going to be really unfortunate. Now the final technique is one that is a little complicated. Um, I've never tested it in game, so I don't know how it's going to go. But this one is called scroll clicking. And it is pretty 
crazy. Look, look how fast this goes. And I'm not doing anything. I'm not scrolling actively right now. It's almost like an auto clicker. It's insane. Look at this. So my highest, I got to 57. That is way higher than my auto clicker. Now you have to realize my auto clicker is set to 10 milliseconds. Now, if I were to reduce my auto clicker from 10 milliseconds to one millisecond, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So this is currently one millisecond auto clicker. It's really fast, 48. But you notice my scroll clicker is still faster. Huge difference. So the speed really comes down to how you configure your stuff. So I brought my friend Kyrie here, who's also a part of my clan. He used to be the number one player in Bed Wars, at least on Ring and uh, he's been slipping a little bit. He's been slipping because you know what? He's been playing way too much Beast Swarm Simulator and he doesn't mind. He's shameless. So he slipped down. I think he's like number five or so. I don't I don't even know what he's ranked as anymore, but he's still a top rank. That's something, right? That's something. He's also a YouTuber. So definitely check him out. I will link his channel in the description. He's got a great channel. He's growing. Help him get help him get to like 10,000 subs. He deserves it. So let's get going. So Kyrie's going to get leather armor. We have no kits. And so both of us are going to get leather armor and some blocks and we're going to meet out in mid. And what we're going to do is we're going to test a couple things. One is I'm going to test regular click speed. This is normal click speed, by the way. It's not, it's not slow. Okay. It's, it's pretty slow, but it's not too slow. Basically, I'm never having to wait. All right, we're going to go. All right. So I have 28. He's oh good Lord. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I, got, I think I got an extra hit off of him. It does help by the way, if you can kind of move around a lot, if they can't see where you're at and you get an extra hit on them, that's where you win some of those fights. So we got to, we got to heal up. All right. We're going to continue this. Uh, 57. <laughs> he's all what? I had 57 on that one. He's all what? Dot, dot, dot. So currently he's using three uh, clicks per second, by the way. If you're curious, he's trying to use the one tap method. We might be proving out the one tap method is not being so great. We'll see. All right, go. Uh, 14. <laughs> he's so confused. It's because I'm aiming at him. That's the thing is I'm, I'm hitting him while he's up in the air. <laughs> I guess this video is over. No, nah, I'm kidding. So that is regular CPS. This one's a little harder. And I had 28 on that. That's butterfly. <laughs> Come on, Kyrie. Come on, dude. <laughs> he thought I was auto clicking. Now all AC. So now we're going to move over to auto clicking, by the way. Now it's auto click time. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Twenty-eight on that one. So that is auto clicker. I'm going to show you the other format, but we got one more of auto clicking. He wasn't auto clicking on that. So he just beat me without auto clicking just now. Now, part of it was my movement. You'll notice my movement was not the same. All right. So here's my movement. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is the auto clicker gives me a lot more stability and 28. So you have a lot more aim stability with an auto clicker, which is a little unfortunate because when you're clicking like this, so I can, I can kind of stabilize it over time, but this is, this is like clicking really fast. And if I, if I butterfly click, you're going to notice that look at the mouse pointer, but if I auto click, Look at the precision. So, the, you know, it really comes down to whether or not it's truly advantageous to auto click. It's a huge question. I think it is. I think the stability of it is huge. So I'm gonna show you the scroll clicking now. This one's gonna be a little different. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna test this out one more time. So that is scroll clicking pretty fast. I, I don't know that it's an advantage. It definitely clicks faster, but I don't know about an advantage. So next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna race building. All right, so this is gonna be normal. We're racing to the top, we're racing to the top. Oh, oh, he fell. All right, <laughs> he had a stroke. All right, so that is regular clicking. Next, we're gonna try butterfly clicking, which should be a little bit faster. Oh man, totally messed that one up. That's the thing is the accuracy is really bad with butterfly. Really bad accuracy. You sacrifice a lot. All right, here we go. This is going to be the auto clicker. <laughs> Dude, I just killed my... <laughs> it's so fast. You actually suffocate. It legit suffocated. Yeah, this is... So this is way faster. So that is how fast you can do it. It can send you to space. And of course there's scroll clicking, which is insane. I'll show you scroll clicking, which is night and day faster. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to do this without killing our game. All right, here we go. You 
Yeah, you can see it's just wigging out. It doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> He's all bro. <laughs> All right, next up is gonna be regular clicking. Now now I'm gonna show you bridging. So the bridging speed, this is gonna go pretty fast. So this is regular bridge speed right here. That's about eight, that's about eight CPS. I'm gonna show you butterfly bridging. Definitely fast. Um, and then here is auto clicker. That is auto clicker. You know, there's a lot of evidence that points towards auto clickers being better, especially accuracy improved. Improved accuracy is huge because your mouse pointer is stabilized, right? You're able to keep that mouse real center and smooth because you're not clicking. When you click, you start getting a little bit of that movement, depending on how you're holding it, especially with butterfly clicking. It's, you know, you're going to lose a lot of stability with that. Drag clicking, you're going to lose stability with as well. So the question is whether or not auto clickers are king. And I think they are. I think they are. Now, I would say that auto clicking is not a fair thing. It's the it's really up to the game developers to decide whether or not they want to allow it. And there's ways to detect it. There were games like Squid Games, for example, that disabled um, auto clickers and would automatically kick you if you were clicking too fast. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think the devs should limit the auto clickers? Should they reduce it? Should they eliminate them from being even possible? Do you think ultra fast clicking is really good for the game? That's a really big question. I think it's controversial. I have a feeling the devs think it's, you know, needed that auto clicker support is needed to be competitive. You know, considering how fast auto clickers are inside Minecraft, you got some people that can do 25 CPS in Minecraft, why wouldn't you be able to do it in this game? So, you know, that there's some logic to that. And there's some people that can actually jitter click really, really fast. You know, they're just kind of built different, right? <laughs> they're built different. They can handle it on their fingers, their hands. And in any case, what do you think about auto clickers? Do you think they should be allowed in the game? Do you think the devs should limit how fast you can click in the game a little bit more than they currently do? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, huge shout out to Kyrie for helping out with this video. I really appreciate it. Definitely check out his channel. I will link it in the description, as I said. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.